Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 11 of our Crooked Man playthrough series. Playthrough, I think, most probably. Um, in the last ep oh, fuck. In the last episode, um, we finished off in the school with um, D. Is this your phone going off, or is it? Hmm? Yeah, in the last episode, we finished off in the school with D. And we got both the good and bad ending, so go check out that if you're interested. But yeah, let's continue into this or whatever. <laughs> Was that my phone? I, I was sound asleep. A message from Shirley. She called again? What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Okay, so now we are at the hospital. A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned or else... It's just... Bleh. Or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? No, you should just wander about a bit. Or hop in your car and piss off home. To Shirley, maybe? Or to see your mother? Okay, got to love it when you're fucking taller than your fucking car, but you know. That's why we can't get in. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna say something about fucking last episode with uh, the cro us being like taller than the fucking crooked man, but yeah, that one you can kind of expect. You can kind of give leeway to that one, but being taller than your car, eh, not so much. Unless it's like a fucking smart car, but yeah, you know. Okay, so I think this episode is going to be pretty much us just wandering about, going through every room. Okay, well, wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without the key. I mean, we don't have the crowbar. Never mind. Just gonna fucking use that. Fuck it. Um. Root through the bin, no, or trash can or whatever. Coffee machine. Okay. Uh, I can't be bothered looking through all the desks. Cardboard box, it says lost and found on top. I mean, we could find a pair of uh, shoes, maybe? A pair of pantyhose, or whatever. Okay. Can we go under the stairs? No, we can't, but. You know. You need stairs where you can just probably pull yourself up. And the door uh, to the outpatient clinic, it has a number lock on. Okay. <coughs> is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. I mean. Okay, what the fuck? Uh, the door seems busted. Uh, also busted. And possibly locked or bust bust. I would make a busted reference, but my sister's the ones that fucking listen to that band or whatever. It might not even be a fucking band. I say we just walk past the uh, the bit of blood on the floor. Not operational. The elevator seems to be stopped on the the floor floor. You're not even going to say anything about that. I mean, it is in a hospital, so you can expect some blood, I suppose. <laughs> Keyword is some. I mean. Nope. Nope. And. Someone leave us a dying message. There's dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? I mean... He's chosen all these fucking random... Not random. Fucking creepy... Um... What they called? Fucking... 
But you hold parties and shit. Creepy des not destinations, but something else. Yeah, he's ch it'll come to me sometime when I'm just mo ugh, most likely when I'm fucking editing or whatever. If you ever watch this again, maybe probably won't, but you know. I mean, I find it weird to fucking watch yourself. Oh shit! Uh, fucking read a good book. Pardon me. I mean, I suppose you can go by the thing of if you enjoy it, then most likely other people may possibly enjoy it. Unless you're a fucking uh, egomaniac, is it? And where you fucking love yourself so much, but you know. Probably doesn't work when you hate yourself either, but you know. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life from the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin onto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily something. Emily Elizabeth Dickens? Dickinson. I don't know if that's an actual book. I'm going to stand up right, the right tool, but you know. It's probably like the fucking most famous book ever, but you know. For a guy who... I mean, to be fair, as a kid I used to always read. I mean, kind of. He started in high school. Putty Tet? Holy shit. A dead cat, the stomach's been cut open. The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Take what's inside. I mean... Oh, come on, no. Oh, that's gross. Oh, sorry. Got a bloody key. I mean, if you fucking heard the... You're not going to say about fucking hearing the cat noises. The cat noises. Dead animals. Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could, who could have? You are not gonna say something about only hear, just hearing a cat's fucking meow, meow. Bus door and another bus door. He's a rescue dog. Um. Tell you, uh, I'll fucking look in the rooms. Before I go down and check with a fucking, I can use it on the um, whatever it's called, the fucking locker. That's the one. Okay, someone's fucking shat themselves. Uh, some dried up fluid. It might be vomit, or it might be shit. Oh. Nope. You're not going to say something about seeing a fa shadowy figure. Single chair. A drab bed. Got a scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only, there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here, but is he still here now? I mean, you don't know when he left, you don't know fuck it, unless you do, but I can't remember. Which kind of pisses me off. I mean, I wish I'd just fucking recorded this in one sitting, because, yeah, it's, it's story-based and I've forgotten most of it, to be honest. Anything in that block? I mean, we could always try the bloody key, but... No bloody key! Do we... Oh. Oh no, okay, so we did read it. No, I remember fucking getting the note, fucking, yeah, the note um, in the last episode, and it was, I wasn't sure if we actually read it, to be honest. No, I'll go, let's see if we can fucking find some shit. Uh, yeah. We'll just see what's in a. Though, if it fucking collapses, an elevator trunk, it's locked. I mean, you're not going to try the bloody key. 
blasted key. Um, and I can't think of the fucking. Oh wait, maybe it's down. Is it this one? Or is this the one with the fucking coffee machine? It's locked. You're not gonna try the bloody key. Or is it this place? I know it's number lock. So the only one that I can think of is was that fucking something up there? It's locked. Anything in these? Right, come on. I mean, if it's not in this, I could have sworn that I saw something next to the door, but that might have just be me hoping for things. Um, lost and found. You might find like oh shit, push all the buttons unlocked. Ah, you shitting me. It's one of these ones, isn't it? shit that it's not gonna lie as you can kind of tell but you know oh nope top wait maybe it's something like that maybe ay 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 you can never do these you're a bitch Did it then? Never mind. Mm. Sorry about this. I'm, I reckon I'm fucking just literally going round in fucking circles, not gonna lie. Oh shit, no wait. Okay, so that's where we get to the beginning. Um Okay, fuck me. Um to be honest. Um I might attempt this. I mean, if it was something like fucking, I want to see what exactly these do. Okay, so those that's the cross. That's just that, and that. Okay, that doesn't really do much for me, but you know. Okay, I'm fine with that. You know, open the key box. What did we get? Oh shit, I'd agree with that. Um, oh, elevator trunky. Okay, I'm fine with this. Sweet. <laughs> I'm just glad that I didn't have to fucking lock that up. Sweet. Um, oh no, that's a fucking elevator, never mind. Or lift, or whatever it is. Uh, I'm guessing that we... Is it just on this stair that the fucking... The stairs that they, yeah, I think it's just on this one where they've got the problem of having to go up like that. Um, top floor. There we go. Pardon me. Now hopefully, that there's something in here. Never let your trunk. It's locked. Use the trunk key. 
and you've got an AED. Do we then go back downstairs and switch that with the fucking um, keypad? What? And here is a child singing his song, which sounds creepy as fuck, and I would most likely run. What are you doing here? Are your mum and dad not around? But did you come here all your own? I think that's what it said. Um, are you a mute, perhaps? Okay. Mommy says I'm not allowed to touch strangers. Uh, no. Mom, mama, mom, mama says, 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 mama Mama shit. Um, uh, fuck it. I'll do some of it. Uh, well, then I'll tr introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 year old, n years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Ooh, I like baseball too. Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Oof, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. Fluffy. That's your name? Yeah, Mummy says my my Fluffy's like a towel. It's all Fluffy. I see. Where's your mama, Fluffy? I... I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well... You were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama. Then, then she went to get something, but she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here and sang. But Mama hasn't come back. So you got lost? Is, is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school. But you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. <clears throat> right. Uh, you're really something to have waited here all along. Great, a kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey Fluffy, it's it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No! What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. D don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the, you're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy? Better give him... Better give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mum will find him. I don't want him to be questioned by the police anyway. I'll take him somewhere safe if I see him again. And with that, we were meant to be doing something, and I can't remember. Oh, the AED. Oh, an automated... External defibrillator has only a little battery left. Well, for a battery, we can fucking swap with the one down here, unless we're meant to be going to look for Fluffy, which I cannot be bothered doing at this moment in time. Um, the door stopper. Um, uh, can we not fucking? I opened the lid and took out the battery. Put the da battery in the lock device. And now we are fucked. The code must be wrong. Okay. Um, where the fuck would we get a fucking lock? I mean... I'm guessing we meant to be using the bloody key for something. It's locked. We can't. Or maybe we can find a paperclip or some shit like that. 
Um, can we beat the shit out of the vending machine? <sighs> That's the only thing I could think of, unless we were to be going through a lot of codes that I do not know. Uh, this one's open, right? Oh, this was the bloody key, I'm guessing. Open the cafeteria. Stained white cups. A dirty teacup. An empty can. Okay, this seems like we were going to fucking meet up with the... Uh... <sighs> Crooked man again. But, you know. <sighs> this doesn't seem good. Oh, the cans, never mind. The cans are all... The can rolls on the ground. Something fell out. Got a small white. Okay, so... You're not going to question that at all? Blame it on the wind. Anything bad goes wrong, blame it on the wind. Um, guessing we use the wire on this. Unless we need a paper clip of some sort. It's locked. Hey, I'm locked with the wire. Um, got a note about a number lock. Nothing left, okay. Um, oh wait, no. What am I doing? Um, number lock. 4489. 4489. And it's not like I have to go far to fucking write it down. Um, 4. What should it not even be for this? Hey, my boy. Release the number lock. Okay. This seems like we we're gonna fucking meet the fucking crooked man again, so I shall save. Before we do anything. Just before we go down a fucking long corridor. The. the what was it? The one that's about. Uh, locks were busted. And the men's is also busted. Emergency patient transport, door won't open. That won't open either. I'm guessing, oh shit, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm guessing that's what fucking is gonna happen with the rest of it. Um, a diary, probably written by the director. I received a puzzle box the other day. A rather interesting thing. To open it, I would have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course I made the key word my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I show, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable. When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day. So it's not a big deal. Um, she actually gave me hints on where to find them. Um, but I can't find any. Maybe, maybe when I have time. More importantly... I don't know if I can bring myself to scold my troublesome daughter. Ah, I've got a scrap with a page. Okay, I'm gonna. D A. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say maybe it said daughter. <sighs> I should get all the six pieces first, otherwise, I wouldn't know how to. Maybe doctor? I'm the doctor. Locked safe, maybe it's in there. Okay, hint paper. Flower is good. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. Oh, nurses know that. Get close to the sky. Okay, no clue on any. Oh, maybe flower. They seem to be artificial. Oh, there's something in the vase. Okay. Got a Y piece. Family? Maybe. Um, where do you have lunch? Oh, what's this? Something on the desk. Got the key to the counselling room. Not bad, I suppose. And we have meal there. Looks heavy. I don't want to be lugging this around. Maybe I, f I find somewhere to use it though. Yeah, maybe to protect yourself. 
I mean, you've literally dropped the crowbar, you've dropped the fucking the iron pipe. And do you have the knife still? Don't like that you've got it on you, but you just wielded it fucking before. Okay. Um I would think that it's the fuck one of them isn't there, but Locks busted, so I suppose it's not. Um, let's just ta look in the cafeteria room. Pretty sure that it's a cafeteria, I suppose. Yes, cafeteria. Um, oh, this. Oh. Oh, okay, fair enough. I was gonna fucking look where it what it said. Um. Where do you go to have lunch? Give me a call. Nurses know that. Get close to the sky. Okay, so I'm guessing we go to the top floor. For the get close to the sky. It's just whereabouts on the top floor. Unless it's now triggered something. Counseling room maybe? You're not going to say anything about that, really? I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? Um. Broken old refrigerator. Cancel. Maybe it's this? Long diary here. Up 12 3. Up 12 the 3rd, maybe? It's not 3rd of December, or is it fucking 12th of fucking. March 3.35 p.m. Tape 15. Subject visitor A. Guarantor for relative in room 413. Contents. A visited after sudden change in patient's sorry, um, conditions condition. Um, patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Um, surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. Uh, the patient tortures a daily. Okay, due to still thinking herself heavy, healthy, um, her memories of A are also vague. Um, a sought counselling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it is it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams. Her mind unstable. Co um, counselling will likely continue for both. Um. Twelfth of the third, or third of I, I have no fucking clue. Um, subject visitor, um, tape sixteen, guarantor for relative room four one three. I think that said. Um, A visited after the patient's death. Um, he lamented that, given she was going to die, he couldn't watch her over her at home. Um, he stated that living in itself is not happy um so if life is agony then what wanting death is unavoidable should i refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity i i wish he would come back here but unfortunately i can't force him i wonder if this is i wonder if this kind of thing is happens a lot this key in the diary got the psychiatry key do we not get a fucking um okay, whatever. I thought we'd have gotten a uh, a what's it called? I was gonna creep get fucking creeped out if it just appeared. Um I thought it'd be There'd be a letter in there, is it? Not a letter, but you know. Yeah, a letter. Reach for the sky, maybe? Reach for the skies. Nothing left? Okay. Thought it'd be in there, maybe. Is 
is it 413 that it was? 402. Wait, no, wasn't it? Well, didn't we get something for the consultation room? An easy way to look for that is psychiatry key. As a psychiatry check. Sweet. Not sure whether you could see my mouse there. I'm hoping that you couldn't. Fuck. Um. Yeah. Day room. No, this is what. Oh wait, no. Is there any key fucking thing in here? Maybe. Um, hint paper. Um, wash your hands where you have lunch. Okay, so we have flour is good, and where do you have lunch? Give me a call, maybe. Nurses know that. Nurses know that. Fucking. All dogs go to heaven? <sighs> the tacos taste pretty good. A uh, cafeteria. Don't eat yellow snow. I mean, we've not looked around here properly, so can always might be some fucking things in here. Staff room. No, did, we didn't pick up anything from here, did we? Did he bring a dot his daughter to work then, or something? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, unless his daughter's just a fucking nurse and she just fancied fucking hiding that shit. Pardon me. Sorry. Nurses know that copy machines never work. Um, that fire extinguishes extinguish fire. That the trash can is empty. Um, that they would possibly become a doctor sometime soon. A plea from the hospital. To all mothers carrying babies, please stop abandoning them in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost. Oh God, this month alone. Fuck me. Um. Fair enough. Shit. Bum, bum, director's room. Nope. That's where we fucking. Oh, can we? I'm about Sarah six. Um, I should get all six pieces first. Otherwise, I w wouldn't know how to arrange them. <laughs> um, only a few books here. The way of a modern family. Family and medicine. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the hint on what the fucking password is. I mean, seeing as we've got like a Y and an L. Medicine room is locked, as is. The door plate is faded, not able to read. A stretcher. Okay, upstairs then. Looks like a janky too, never mind. Men's bathroom, muck busted. Also busted. There you are, Fluffy. I don't I. Uh, don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dog fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. You sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire it. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here we are, I'm looking for someone. If only there was someone here to depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. 
Oh, really? <sighs> That's a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer when you're here, Fluffy. <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff off it is. Let Sheriff off it is. It is. How does he lit? Oh, fuck me then. I don't remember this bit. Trash cans empty. You wanna go for fucking? Uh, is this the thing the doctors use? I want one. Can I have it? Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Not that fucking bonding with each other. Various medical equipment. What is this stuff? I don't really know either. Dumbass. Bookshelves are empty. As is this. Um, an examination to oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna leave that there. Mainly because it's an all right stopping point, to be honest. We've got our little buddy, oh, Fluffy. Okay, so we can't fucking stand next to each other, can we? I think that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button down below for us and all that stuff. Um. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying this game. It's pretty fun. Story's not too bad either. I mean, that's what the that's what the game is. Pretty much, it's pretty much story. But yeah, good. Yeah, thank you, and I shall see you when I see you.